Just a level 5 thought form cross rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calmly execute. Make no sudden movements. Uh oh. He didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. Come on. We've got to get to the top floors. All full, going up. Uh, he, uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator! Excuse us. Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Oh, I missed him. Huh? Don't let them circle behind you! Ah, I'm covered in Mark's fellow Dinian goo! 
J-Pop is working overtime, generating these little creeps. Need some help here! Raised hormonal teenagers on a post-final exam bender. Good shooting. Ah! Night and shining proton pack time. In, please. Pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting, and they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. No sudden movement. Perfectly safe now. Sudden movement! Sudden movement! Kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan. I love it. Nothing to worry about, folks. It's okay, Dr. Venkmanager. You're fine. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? W was that a manifestation of Gozer? Uh, yeah, probably. It just may be. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here or the scenic route to its latest choice? Ooh. Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that, in a lady. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet, before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. We're not getting out of here that way. Well, it was a good plan for a second. Okay, let's think. What did people do before stairs? Was it ladders or just different from ladders? We go up then. To the roof. Ah! Well, hello there. Stay up and spotted us. Move, move! That's Come on, let's go.
three. There he goes! The big evil sailor all the way to the- Oh! Not quite, didn't make it. Hey Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh -huh. Okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building! I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the Stay Puft there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? All right there, Sunshine. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes! The Big Daddy Manifestation himself! A raging blob of densely packed marshmallow! Oh boy! Melt him, Chief! Give him full screen! He's right, Rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. More of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? Mm -hmm. like 60? Ozone darts should do the trick. Bullseye 
Bravo, loosen them up. Ghostbusters 2, Gozer the Gozerian 0, looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through? Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's C. Egon. It's uh, Ray Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai? Mexican? Japanese? Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this! The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself! Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <coughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. 
What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters, and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on me. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ghostbusters, what do you want? We can schedule a visit, um, next Thursday? Sometime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m.? I'm afraid that's the soonest opening we have. All right, I've got you down for then. Oh, it won't be necessary to call before they arrive. Believe me. You'll know it. It is the dawn of another struggle gone. for power. Goodbye. Not even these shackles can hold the demon beast of Romania forever. Distant worlds beckon. Evil spirits howl. Rivers of blood flow beneath us. I am Vigo the Crow. Viggo the Torturer. 